Good morning, Pokefans. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and we're going to continue our seasonal rank climb using a team that we built from scratch. So in yesterday's videos, we uh, tried out Bo's rental team, and we went 3-3, three and three, which is great. Uh, we ended up with a 41-42 record out of 83 fights, and today we will bet 89. So I'm actually kind of happy. We're going to be way over the, 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 the 100 fights here, like... Today is going to be Monday, so first and foremost, happy Monday. And we still have 11 days, so at 6 fights, 11 at 66, 4 fights, we should, should be high up there. Now, are we going to climb up the uh, the rankings a little bit? Probably not, but this is the team that we'll be running with today. So we changed around a little bit. Um, Raging Bolt is still under construction. I don't know if I'm going to keep him with the Assault Vest or not, uh, since I am still figuring out what I want to do with him. He's just not on the team for right now. Uh, we removed Chi Yu to put in Fluttermane because we didn't want to have like overheat or heat wave becoming a non thing that we could do because of Kyogre. So we changed Kyogre to have Origin Pulse and Mystic Water, so no leftovers. We also retrained or retrained uh, Kyogre to have a little bit more uh, offensive stats, right? So we did the 196 in the uh, like an attack and or special attack in HP, four in the defenses and 108 in speed. That's not what we're doing anymore. We're going full uh, attack investment and speed investment. So we have the timid. So we have the highest amount of speed that we uh, speed that we can with the highest amount of special attack as we can with the mystic water. We still have the calm mind so that we're going to resist a little bit more of special attacks if that comes down the line. We are terra water, so we're going to be doing as much physical dam or special damage as we possibly can in the rain with water and mystic water. It's pretty much Urshifu without scarf. So Urshifu has the scarf, we changed it to Aqua Jet, but I mentioned that before, I think, already. At least I think I mentioned that on uh, Friday. Uh, for Fluttermane, he's going to take over for Chi Yu, and Fluttermane is also retrained. So we have Timid, uh, full max speed investment. We're doing that just so that we can keep track of Pokemon that are incredibly fast. We're not going to be able to outspeed Iron Bundle anyways, but at least we'll be able to do a ton of damage. Um, we are still set up for choice specs, but we are special attack and speed investment and our maximum is four speed. We added Furgraph in the meantime so that we can uh, negate any type of priorities and we didn't make any changes to Tornadus or Chien Pao. Now we might remove the item from Chien Pao, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. I like the, the life orb set and because of the fact that it's always a 50-50, we could go one step above and make Chien Pao be like scarfed for whatever reason. I think that would be really, really funny. And then give uh, opportunities for like Urshifu who for some reason gets knocked down by uh, Whimsicott's. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> Whimsicott's not meant to like to attack, but when people do max like investment in special attack and they still like one shot it, it's so funny. Um, but yeah, uh, we're not going to make any changes to Chien Pao as of right now. And because we're not, we're not going to worry about it. But that is going to be what we're going to be running with today. So before we get started, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get into our matches. All right, we have Tornadus, uh, Ogre Pond, that's fire, cool. Alolan Raichu, Fluttermane, Urshifu, and Maridon. Okay, so this is kind of what I was like trying to prepare for, and I also have things that I want to clarify with Alolan Raichu. We saw this yesterday. However, I don't know what ability they have. I think that they would have uh, Surge something, Surge Surfer, which then doubles their speed in electric terrain. So that shouldn't be like a problem, right? But it was weird. Uh, they were not able to outspeed and then able to outspeed and then not, and then, yeah, anyway. Um, in this particular matchup though, they do have Tornadus. We're gonna need to be able to outspeed that. So I'm gonna go in with uh, Tornadus, Flottermane, Kyogre, and Urshifu. We're gonna go with this combo so that we can kind of set up for Tailwind and then try to outspeed after that. Um, I should have brought in Chien Pao, but at the same time, it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to stop, uh, uh, Tornadus. Like without Taunt, I don't think I can stop them from doing, um, Tailwinds. And it's kind of hard to figure out where I should go. This is dope. Okay. <laughs> hey, I want to do the exact open. Um, are you booster energy though? Your booster energy, you're going to outspeed me. No booster energy. Okay. 
Let's go Tailwind. And I'm going to go straight to the Terra Dazzling Gleam to hit the both. Because if they taunt, then that stops them for a turn. If uh, they don't, then we match speeds, I think. Especially since they're not booster energy. And that could be a Focus Sash Fluttermain. There is other variants of it. They're probably not even going to do a Tailwind. They'll probably just do a Fake. Terra goes to their Fluttermain. Mine was faster, so I don't know if I won the speed tie or they're generally slower. I'm not 100% sure. Let's do Tailwind. And so we don't lose anything, we match speeds. Nope. So I won either the 50-50 or I'm faster just generally. Do a ton of damage, Tornado barely holds on. Moonblast goes right into uh, my Fluttermate. Oh, and it goes down? Yeah, that would make sense. Mine was spec If there's a spec single target, that would that would do it. Absolutely. I'll go ahead and bring out Urshifu. Swamp to Kyogre. Surging Strikes. Well, um... No, we're not going to swap to Kyogre. We can't. To the bleak wind storm, and I'm going to surging strikes into Fluttermane. Let's get that Pokemon off the field. That way, you don't have to worry about it. Now they have Fire Ogre Pond. I don't think I have anything to worry about to, for uh, the say. One time, it goes down. Bleak wind storm hits that tornado. It goes down too. So either they were under speed or I would just happen to win the 50-50 both times. I'm not 100% sure which one happened. Okay. Maridon. And Alone Raichu. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and I just fake out. So I think Bleak Wind Storm then swap to Kyogre is gonna be the best bet that I have. They can't tear us, so there's that's not an option anymore. Uh, they could nuzzle, but I don't think that's gonna be an option anymore. I'm going for the 100% Bleak Wind Storms. We do match speed, so it's not like I can't do anything about it. I'm just hoping that Kyogre can take a hit. Start the rain. Nuzzle. Kyogre takes a little bit. Paralyzes. Okay. Back to our drift. And that also goes into Kyogre. Okay. Take one storm, comes 100%. It's not super effective. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Alright. Bring out Urshifu. Now we don't have to worry about that. Let's protect over here. Do I have enough? No, you know what? Let's not protect. I'll go for the Bleak Wind Storms again, and I'm going to close combat into Maridon because it can't protect. Nuzzle? How are you able to outspeed? That seriously confuses me. I mean, it is 130. I'm not really taking it down anywhere. Ah, so that's a little annoying. I don't like it that a low and right should just magically just gets double speed. 
Like I knew it. It's not like it's like it's not like it's unheard of. But I planned it out so well so that I can possibly take down Maridon and it's like not getting out. All because Nuzzle doesn't miss and automatically does paralyze. So this is a loss and I can't do anything about it. Which is super unfortunate. Yeah, no, we're not gonna worry about it. Nope. We're not we're not gonna do it. I tried. Um I don't think there's a way that I can come back from that. It's really unfortunate. How did... I have Tailwind, even at the highest amount that Raichu could have. Uh, I mean, it could, it would make sense, but I didn't, there was no way that I can prevent it. As much as I tried, uh, I don't think there was anything that I could have done. Maybe I could have just like aqua jetted. I there wasn't even a way that I could knock out Raichu first. Dang it. Oh well, let's move on. Okay. Shadow Rider, Rillaboom, Grimmsnarl, Muck, Smeargle, and Incinero. Are you kidding me? Muck and Smeargle with Shadow Rider? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so with this particular build, we're gonna have to worry about both Muck and Smeargle. Um, the question is, do I go for Trick Room first? Because I can reverse it. Like I can sit in Trick Room as I outspeed Shadow Rider. It stops at like 222 or 220. I think it's 222. If it's 222, I should be able to do it just fine. Um, two fake out users plus Grim Snarl. Yeah, I think that we'll have to bring in like Frigoraph, to be honest. So if we're gonna bring in Frigoraph, what we're gonna do then is bring in Kyogre. That way we could just immediately put a lot of pressure. Uh, Fluttermane, and then we'll bring in Shin Pao. That way we can still outspeed, have a lot of pressure in the beginning, if not at the later game. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do against Shadow Rider per se, but I'm going to do my best to uh, take advantage of the potential opportunity that I have. Uh, at first team though, that was nuts. But that's how teams like that go. Oh, two shiny Pokemon, let's go. Okay, so with this particular set, what we're gonna wanna do is do Helping Hand on Kyogre and then Origin Pulse to hit both. Helping Hand. This fake out could go into Kyogre, which could be the thing. Nope, they go for the wide guard instead. You called it. Absolutely called it. Origin Pulse. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -bum -bum. It's okay. Oh, you want to minimize? That's cool. That's cool. Moody kicks, uh, kicks in. Special defense increase. Uh, minus defense. So we'll pick this back to bring in Chin Pao now. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and call mind. You want to wide guard again? That's totally fine. You can wide guard. I'm gonna bring in Chi and Pao, which will automatically hit Muck, because I just ignore everything that you have with Sacred Sword. So I'm okay with this. Oh mine. Spore. Okay, so no no wide guard. Interesting. Minimize a second time. Moody. Sacred Sword into Muck. I'm going to go ahead and Fortune Pulse. Plus two speed. Are you are you faster than Chi and Pao? It's like 205. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's crazy. That's crazy. Knock off. 
Not very effective, but it knocks off the life orb. Which is unfortunate. Okay. Let's protect. And I'm gonna go ahead and Forge Impulse again. Chain Power woke up. Cool. So you protect. White Guard. A nice call. I don't think Kyogre is gonna wake up. Didn't think so. <laughs> I did not think so. Minimize again. gonna outspeed me. It's got the two. But I'm gonna hit the muck and put a lot of pressure on it. And I'm gonna try to Terra Water. I'm gonna I'm hoping to wake up this time. I'm hoping to wake up this time. Because they have the Spore Chi and Pow, which means that if they stop uh, the Sacred Sword into that slot, that means they can't put up Wide Guard. If I wake up here, this is gonna be really, really this is gonna hurt. They may miss the Muck still, but it's gonna hurt. Follow me. So they're gonna try to prevent something. Sacred Sword into that slot. Drops it down to the 1 HP. Sash kicks in. So Ice Rider doesn't, or uh, Shadow Rider doesn't have, oh! Ergo woke up, Origin Pulse. It looks like it's gonna hit both. And it does. And they both go down. Booyah. So with the full investment into special attack and speed, we're now in mid-range. Terra Water in the rain does double damage for that. And we have Mystic Water, so it's a 1.2 uh, boost. Okay, Grimmsnarl and Ice Rider. Interesting. So we're gonna do this and it's gonna be really, really funny. So Chi and Pao is gonna Sucker Punch over to that guy. We're gonna swap over to Furograph. So now I don't take any damage from Master Barrage. And I now ignore anything that Grimmsnarl can do outside of screens. No Fake Out, no Partying Shots, no Thunder Waves, no nothing. Terra goes over to probably Shadow Rider? Yep, and you are going to be Barry. Okay, so you ignore Sucker Punch. Dope. Absolutely crazy. Sucker Punch. Now does uh, fifth or sixth. Light screen comes up. And Astral Barrage does not affect Furgraph. And it's going to hit Chi and Pao. Is it enough to survive, though? Probably not. Nope, not effective at all. So we're gonna go ahead and protect. And I'm gonna go ahead and hyper voice to do a little bit of damage on that side and um, rock the throat spray. Parting shot, you can't do that. Armor tail. Bring the kiss on the fur graph. It's not as effective it's neutral it'll will it will get him up the full the full health the voice i'm just gonna do a little bit of chip damage there i'm gonna boost my special attack sucker punch there again this time i'm gonna help in hand chin pow Grimmsnarl is useless here. Absolutely useless. And they can't use Astral Barrage. There we go. Terra Fairy. This is going to go over to Chain Pao. It's going to get the, the KO, but it's not going to gain as much. So there's the special attack uh, bonus. Spirit Break. And he's gonna do a little bit. So he does have an attacking move that he can do. 
Interesting. All right, we'll bring out Kyogre. Fizzle. Um, we're going to go ahead and do Orange and Pulse. This kind of has to be my last hurrah. That is a plus one to special attack. I don't think it's going to be enough to count Kyogre. I don't think it will. If Rimsnarl can't do anything, uh, they, does have, they do have Light Screen. So it is going to lower the damage to uh, a third. But I'm going to like double it. Dragon Kiss. Over to Kyogre. That's 60. 66. It's about full. Origin Pulse. Terra Water, Mystic Water in the rain. Oh, down goes Grimmsnarl, but you still have a little bit of HP left. That's a lot of damage there. Um. We'll leave it up to Ice Beam, and we will help in hand the Kyogre. This is probably the land battle, though. Oh, they didn't, they didn't swap. Okay. Draining Kiss. Over to Fergraph. It is going to knock it out. So it is going to get another plus. Oh, that's a lot. It's a lot. Beam. I wanted to go for the safer route. I probably should have done something be uh, different. Okay. That's a plus two. All right, plus two. Yep. Is it enough? It's enough to knock out Fluttermane. I want to know if it's enough to knock out Kyogre. Give it a shot. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see. Nope, Moonblast goes first. I won prob That that doesn't make sense. Are you saying that you're 205? How did I how did I win that? That's like sometimes the speed tiers are so weird. Like it was able to outspeed like everyone else. Hey, oh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'm glad that we won. But I'm just kind of figure out like where where was the where was the speed? Because Fluttermane should not should not have uh, done that if it was maxed. Like I said, it's like 222. Like it, there was no way that I can get above that unless I did like booster energy, and I'm not boosting. Still, that was insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, so we have Water Ogre Pond, Farigarath, Mian Chao, Moongus, Torkoal, and oh. <laughs> ice crown himself or not ice crown um ice rider himself okay okay so how should i deal with this i know i have to deal with me and chow how fake out's gonna come out first which means that that's gonna be a major problem uh first and foremost let's go ahead and bring out tornadoes and uh chin pow uh, just so that we can kind of uh deal with like fake out and kind of or get the ball rolling on that um we could also you know what let's go kyogre first I mean, it does buff Ogre Pond, and he does have Horn Leech, which is going to do a lot to Kyogre. Um, um, we're going to bring in... There we go. We're going to bring in Hornetus, Fluttermane, um, Brigarath, and we're going to then bring in uh, Urshifu. Uh, we just need to be able to counter key figures. I think we're also bringing in... All right. Ice Rider and um, Me and Chow. That's one, so no berries. What do I have? Okay, so I have Urshifu and Furgraph. We're not gonna really swap anyone. What I'm gonna do instead is activate... I could go Tailwind, but... Yeah, you know what? I outspeed. I'm gonna do the Bleak Wind Storm to hit the both. And I'm gonna go straight for Moonblast, but the Ice Rider. The Ice Rider is probably gonna swap out to someone else. Which could be like Amoongus, could be Torkoal, it could be um Big Out goes over to Tornadus. That's cool. Uh Moonblast into that slot. 
Does a little less than half. Bleak Wind Storm. Misses someone. But it does hit the Mian Chow, brings it down to its stash. Trick Room gets activated. So it's a good thing I didn't activate. Uh, oh, Glacial Lance. Okay. It is a double KO. Now we'll do this. Burger app to stop any other priority. We'll bring in Urshifu that's going to be able to just single target everything down. If it's Water Ochre Pond in the back, I'm in trouble. Uh, because of that, let's go ahead and use Lowe's Combat instead. Right? Because they have Ochre Pond. Yeah, it's Water Ochre Pond. If I do Surgeon Strikes into the wrong target, Water Absorb's going to lock me into that. So I'm just going to go ahead and close Combat. And I'm going to go ahead and help in hand the Urshifu. So now, if I know that Ochre Pond's in the back, I'm hoping to knock it out first. And me and Chow can't just sit there and go, oh, here's White Guard, here's White Guard. Yeah, here's this, here's this, here's this. We're, we're not. We're not going to do that. I'm very surprised that Glacial Lance was able to take down Fluttermane. I, I can understand Tornadoes, but Fluttermane? Uh... A little iffy. Close combat. Are you serious? Are you ki- Oh my god! Why? Why? There's coaching. It's like every time! <laughs> Trick room. What's the dimensions? Um... Terra Water. Go into that slot. And I'm going to activate Trick Room. Honestly, I should have went with the uh, Hyper Voice, to be honest. That was my fault. Frigoraph would have been able to ta uh, attack first. It's probably not going to be like the one to attack the first first. But I at least would have had something set up. But I'm glad to be shutting off Trick Room now. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally my kryptonite. I can't do nothing to Ice Rider. I'm so glad I'm not competing in 2024 right now because this Pokemon is so annoying. 4 0 sweep. How do I deal with Ice Rider? He's literally the thing that keeps me up at night. Everyone, like, remember when Peach, like, I don't think she would ever have like PTSD dreams, but she's like, I can't sleep. Bowser's or uh, like on the loose. I'm just like, yeah. So Ice Rider's there. God, the salt is so real right now. <laughs> oh come on. That was like the biggest thing that I could ever do, and I still can't knock it out. Still. Oh, what is his weaknesses? Like fire? Ogre Pond couldn't even do it. I had to tear a fire into it and even then still couldn't do it. Oh, how, how, how? And we'll figure it out someday. Somehow we need to figure out a counter or ice rider. I can get rid of Shadow Rider. It's Ice Rider. Uh, he walls my team. And I think he will continuously wall my team. I can't. I can't beat it. I don't know why. Okay, we've got Muck, Smeargle, Whims or Meow Stick. Okay. Karidon, Walking Wake, and um uh, Whimsicott. Nido. Nido. Okay. Mm -mm. Um, how should I do with this combo? I know I have a little bit of knowledge with Meowstic. He was originally going to be my imprisoned Pokemon for uh, Expanding Force, but I never finished him in time. So he's just kind of sitting in the prep box. But I do not like the fact that Muck and Smeargle are all over the Master Bolts here. That's a little annoying. Um, let's shoot for the moon. We'll go Tornadus, Fluttermane, Chien Pao, and Kyogre. 
that's what we'll do. We'll leave Urshifu and um, Furgraph in the back. I wonder if I for no, it wouldn't have mattered. I was like, wonder. I wonder if my Furgraph attacking last last game would have done anything. No, my Furgraph is not like ignoring speed whatsoever. It's not zero speed. It's not like speed minus nature. It has none of that. Okay, we got Smeargle and Whimsicott. Dope. Um, let's go ahead and do the Bleak Wind Storm, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the Dazzling Gleam. I know I have Chien Pao in the back for Muck whenever they make an appearance, and that's specifically for that reason. So let's see what happens here. They get they they have no fake out target. They could fake out tornadoes. Uh, it's probably best to not do that. Wide guard probably like the killer for me. Um, and I didn't really think about that till now, so. They activate Tailwind. Um, no wide guard. That's to note. Instead, use Spore. Okay. Water means asleep. Liquid Storm. Please don't miss everybody. It misses the Whimsicott, but it gets a crit on Smeargle. Brings it down to Sash. Okay. Special defense rose. Defense fell. Okay. We're going to go ahead and... Yeah. Very dark. And I'm going to activate Talon on my side. Let me go ahead and Dazzling Gleam again. You're asleep. You'll be fine. But I'm going to shut off um, Whimsicott. No prankster over here, please. I'm going to make that a non-possibility. Gallon. So Whimsicott was going to attack instead. But remains asleep. Really, really hoping. Well, it, oh. Moonblast right into the Fluttermane. It's not enough to get the damage off. Special attack did fall on Fluttermane, though. Spore on the Tornadus. So they'll probably swap in Muck soon. Do both of these. What we'll do well, that's what we'll do until um Smirkle gets like a boost in speed or whatever. We will be able to have an advantage here. Fluttermane wakes up, dazzling gleam. Smirkle goes down. No swap into the muck. Okay. Moonblast right over to Tornadus. Does not get the KO. Tornadus stays asleep. And with that, I think I'm safe to swap in. But Chi and Pao is weak against um, Whimsicott. I don't know what that is. There's the muck. So we're gonna protect instead. And I'm just gonna go ahead and Dazzling Gleam. Because I'm locked into that slot. I can't do anything more. Oh, Tornadus woke up. Let's go. Dope. Okay. So that's going to be helpful next turn. Dazzling Gleam. Does not knock out the Whimsicott. Gonna ignore the Moonblast. Now, do you do knockoff or do you minimize? You're minimizing. Okay. So I should have a free or a safe switch in. So that's leftovers. Gotcha. Okay. So we're going to switch in. Okay. Tailwind's gone on that side. I have it a turn later, so I'm going to switch into Chi and Pao. And I'm going to Dazzling Gleam to knock out the Whimsicott. It's going to do Trick, not Trick Room, Tailwind. And I mean, it could also do Taunt, but I don't really think it's going to do that. But I think Muck is going to not do anything uh, too fancy here. Tailwind activates. So we called that one. I don't really know what the Muck's going to do. I think Minimize is going to be the thing. 
But Dazzling Gleam is going to knock down the Whimsicott. Now it's two versus four. Power of Alchemy grabs on Prankster. Okay. So now Prankster Minimize is 100% going to be the thing. That's cool. Now my Tailwind's gone. But I don't think that's really going to matter. But Power of Alchemy copying Prankster is not bad. Reliable partner. Oh, Ride on. I mean, do you outspeed me? I don't want to test it, actually. You haven't Terrid yet, I don't think. You have not, so Coridon's probably going to be your Terra target. So depending on what that is, I really don't want to mess with it. We're going to swap Buttermane to bring in Kyogre now. Because again, your Terra target is going to be um, Coridon. You wouldn't want to do it to Muck. I mean, you could. But a lot of people just do Minimize and like Knock Off and Plot Protect and something else. We're going to show off the weather so that way you don't have any control over it. Here's the Terra. Right on. Yep. Fire. Yep. Okay. So we immediately have to do something with uh, Chien Pao. Toxic. Okay. Does not affect Chien Pao. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's your prankster. Flame charge right into Kyogre does nothing. But you get a speed boost. It's dope. Sacred Sword. Move that never misses, so good luck with that. So let's go ahead and sucker punch. Um What's the best move here? Chien Pao doesn't get affected by anything right now. I feel like Sucker Punch... Yeah, let's do Sucker Punch on him. And let's do Origin Pulse on that side of the field. Protect. Okay. The only real thing that you can do. Sucker Punch on the Coridon. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, collision course on Kyogre. How is that enough? You got a speed boost. How is that an attack boost? That shouldn't have been enough. Absolutely. You're not even Terra fighting. That's the weirdest part about it. All right. We're going to bring in Tornadus now. Nothing like Muck does is ineffective. It's ineffective. Okay, so we're going to go... Since you protected last turn, Sacred Sword into that slot, and we're going to go ahead and Tailwind, so now I become faster. And your speed boost is going... Or at least your Tailwind is going to fall off at the end of this turn or next turn? I believe it's this turn, though. And you only have these two. And Muck's going down. I mean, you can go for the double, and you might get it, but you also might fail. But Muck's definitely going down this turn. If it fails, it goes down. If it doesn't, if if it doesn't fail, it, it'll stay on the field. Right on protects. Tailwind. Nice call. Um, Sacred Sword doesn't miss. Muck goes down. Yeah. And the game's over. Uh, Sucker Punch to Bleak Wind Storm. Battle's canceled. Dope. Okay, so what did we pick up here? What are we going to try to put down? So with this particular thing, I do want to count uh, the collision course with um, against Kyogre. I'm going to put that down. 
Rhydon versus Iogre. Uh, and we had Rain. I messed up here. Rain, non Terra, and then Fire Terra Speed Boost. To kind of get an idea of what we're gonna be looking at when they did Collision Course. Like I said, as soon as the as soon as the sun went away, the power of Coridon should have also disappeared. So that's also something that uh, we need to be very aware of. Um, again, like that's. Like a speed boost, like, okay, a speed boost is just fine. But being able to one shot Kyogre with collision course, that's non Terra. Yeah, it's still a stab, but it should have been able to withstand that. So that's interesting. Let's move on. All right, just a quick thing to note. I just did the calcs for Kyogre and Koridon. In that particular matchup, when we have the collision course go right into Kyogre, from the calcs that I see currently in front of me, Collision Course has a chance of doing 60 to 71% damage, equaling up to 106 to 2 or 126. Iogre, being hit with Flame Charge previously, was not within the range, and then I know that it didn't do more than 25%. So the calcs are showing me that that was not a possible outcome. And just to try to reflect this, I had given uh, a ride on the adamant nature fully invested into attack and that's where that 60 to 70 percent uh, damage had come from but i'm still unsure of how it came to be that so just keep that in mind we're gonna move on okay so we have tornadoes chin pao entei water ogre pawn uh, zamazenta and ursaluna interesting so we shouldn't be uh, bringing for or for rigraph for whatever reason so because that would be like a terrible thing to do let's bring in tornadus urshifu ayogur and we could bring in flutter of main what i mean would be perfect to bring in in case if we need to like swap out now actually let's not bring in kyogre let's bring in chien pao instead if we brought in kyogre what we the potential that we could be swapping into like Ogre Pond is really, really huge. Although it puts a lot of pressure onto Entei. Yeah, we'll bring in Kyogre. It's probably like the worst combo, but with, I don't know, a minute and a half to kind of pick and we're like, okay, what's what combo or setting up are they going to be putting themselves into? And I really do think that they're going to bring in Zamazenta. So I just have to decide whether or not that I want to swap into like Fluttermane when they go to use Body Press. Because it's not like they can go into Tornadus, but it's not going to do anything. So Tornadus Entei versus Urshifu and Tornadus. Wow. Okay. So what I want to do first, I want to automatically set up with Tailwind. And then I want to... Um... I kind of want an Aqua Jet, but it's probably not going to do anything. But Surging str No. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Surging Strikes the Tornadus. I don't think they're going to swap the swap Tornadus. I think that they're going to do something else. Here comes the Terra. probably goes to the Entei. Yep. Normal. And if I would have close combat at that slot, that would have been, like, the craziest move I've ever, like, Done. Stream speed. It's gonna go straight for Urshifu. It's not enough to get the KO. I'm gonna use Tailwind, so now I go first. Outside of priority. Surgeon strikes into Tornadus. No Rocky Helmet. This is not gonna get the KO. It would have if I would have Terra'd. But here comes the Bleak Wind Storm, which is gonna take down Tornadus. Or, uh, Urshifu. Nope, Urshifu avoids. Let's go. Heck yeah. Absolutely. Great call. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do Bleak Wind Storm. Swap over to Flutter Main. Because now I put them. I put Tornadus more in in range but now extreme speed doesn't do anything oh goes over to tornadus instead now we'll get the ko so i can't do anything there which means that they're now able to attack with no no problems that one now goes up 
Now I'll just bring in Kyogre. What's their legend again? Uh, Zamazenta, that's right. Protect. We're gonna Terra Water Protect. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started up with Dazzling Gleam. Now, if they have um, Ogre Pond in the back, they might be celebrating. Might be being the keyword. Protect. I think Tornadus is going to go down here. Extreme speed goes into the protect. I outspeed Tornadus. And I do a lot of damage to Entei. A lot of damage. Out comes Zambazenta. Alright. Arch and Pulse. And... No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Black Guard. It's going to prevent everything that I could do for today, or for this turn. Extreme Speed goes into Kyogre. Oh, come on. That shouldn't... You must be banded. You must be banded. That's no... That's so much damage. You shouldn't have been able to do that. Urshifu. They probably got the... No, they're retreating. Okay. Brought out Ogre Pond. Okay. They wouldn't do body press against or against Fluttermane unless they plan on the switch. So it's either a wide guard or they went like a... F or I like iron defense. Behemoth Bash. Ooh. I guess that one cracked. Guard. Saw that happening. Return. That's a lot of damage to Ogre Pond. Swap into Fluttermane. It still hasn't gotten hit, by the way, but it's probably going to get hit now. Horn Leech. Yep, there's that. <laughs> there's that hit. There's that hit. Here comes that ice beam. Let's re bring out Urshifu. Ice beam. Close combat. Let's do that. I probably did it wrong. 
to follow me might come out. Oh, call it close combat. Still, 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 still takes two. Come on. One leech. Could have taken down the ogre pawn. But I don't know what Zamazenta is going to do, so we'll see what happens. He didn't wide guard, so. That's just that. Oh, body press. Okay. Yeah, it would have went the same. It would have been the same result, which is unfortunate. How do I... How do I counter... I just need ghosts. That's all I need. Just ghost types. But then I have Behemoth Bash, uh, bash to worry about, too. Interesting. Ice Rider and Zamazenta seem to be my problem, and I can deal with one or, or I can deal with one of them. I just can't deal with both both of them. So it's something else I have to come up with. But that was more of a feasible thing. Like I could have won that if White Guard didn't come out. A lot of people are substituting um, White Guard instead of having Iron Defense. Like you, with, for a plus one, you get a stab uh, boosted body press that does like a ton. Now I could just will o -wisp, um both of them, which that would be perfect. I just got to come up with a good will o -wisp target that's not prankster, that's like fast. I think that's the, the best course of action. I think that's it. I think I just need to find a will o -wisp user and I could burn both of them. Once they're burnt, they're not going to be able to do a ton of damage and I can just kind of sit and look pretty. And that even goes towards Ogre Pawn unless it's like um, fire, then which wouldn't work. I think that's my answer. Truly, I think that's my answer. If they can't do damage to me, then it doesn't matter. I'll have to keep that in mind. Let's move on. Okay. Oh, no. Ice Rider, Torkoal, uh, Amoongus, Primarina, um, Frigoraph, and Sceptile. I think that's what that thing's... Yeah, I think that's what the, that thing's called. Uh, Sceptile. Uh, we're going to go over to the attack decks. Fire. Go all the way down. There we go. Now we can see who learns will o after the battle. Okay, so can I keep it within two rankings? Can I go 44 and 45? I don't know. It's going to be insane. Um, <clears throat> and that's genuinely a good question. Am I going to be able to do it? Let's bring in Urshifu and Kyogre. That way I could just immediately do like a ton of damage and they can't just immediately ignore me. Uh, we'll bring in Fluttermane and Chi and Pao. I think that's going to be our combo. We'll leave Frigoraph alone and we'll also leave Tornadus alone. We don't really need to, to outspeed. We do outspeed everybody, but I'm going to look up Sceptile real quick because I can. Uh, wait, do they just have Grovile? No. Yeah, they have Grovile. What? Why? Unburden. Okay. Does does Sceptile not have Unburden? Yeah, no, he does. So you have the Eviel. Wait, what? What? And they also have Primarina out there. Like that's Water Fairy. So that's interesting. Um. Let's you turn into you. And let's Terra Ice Beam into you. And call it good. I want to do as much damage what I, with uh, Kyogre as I possibly can. You use Grovile. Why did you use Grovile? I mean, I get unburdened, but then you would have to carry around the Eviolite for it to, like, be very effective. Crit. Pops the Sash. So now it becomes double fast. And then I bring out, like, I don't know, Fluttermane? That may or may not be knocked out by Primarina. I hope not. Grass Pledge. Water Pledge. Oh, are you serious? No way. I'm going to lose to this. 
I get swamped now. What? Oh, are you kidding me? You are absolutely kidding me. Absolutely kidding me. Okay. Swamp reduces speed by 75%. What? Withdrew Pre Marina, so they're not going to do that strat anymore. They don't have to. Out comes Ice Rider. Nope, Frigograph. Oh, that's going to shut off Sucker Punch. Okay. I mean, would it work anyway? Yes, because he does Endeavor. Get Endeavor. So instead of Sucker Punch, I should have just done anything else. Oh, and here's Ice Rider. Two abilities. Let's go. Too nervous to eat. We're locked into Dazzling Gleam, so I can't do anything else. And I'm going to go ahead and protect on Chin Pao. But it's not. I don't think it's really going to matter because here comes like Glacial Lance. But it may. Even though that my speed's lowered down by 75%, isn't enough to where it's going to break me. I do not know. Terra Ice happens on to uh, Ice Rider. Chain Power's gonna protect. Double Kick. You activated Weakness Policy? Lance doesn't affect Chin Pao. What did I do to deserve this? All right, I don't. Seventy-five percent. Searching strikes. And we'll just go Sacred Sword. Yeah, why not? Let's go Sacred Sword into that, that slot. I don't really know what I can do right now. Even with Scarf, I don't know if I still outspeed. I don't think I'd outspeed. It's really, really rough. How come in Hand? Nope. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I got hit by the pledges to create a swamp that drops my speed by 75%. I don't even know how to calc for that. Because effectively it should be minus one, but it's not minus one. How would, okay, so we're gonna look at that real quick. All right, so here comes the stat modifiers, guys. That's an interesting tech. I might sound salty, but I wasn't expecting someone to use something like that. I don't think that would ever work in a regional, um, but that definitely could have been shut down after the first one. But again, I have no idea because in realistic terms, that should not have should not have been 75%. Okay, so here's the stat modifiers. Um, so Gen 5 on, the stat modifications are for minuses and pluses. Uh, oh, here we go. Stage modifiers. So for minus one, it's two thirds, which is 66%. Uh, minus two, which is 50%. Minus three is 40%. That's just for attack, defense, special attack speed, special defense, and that. For accuracy and evasion, it kind of goes above and or, uh, like up and down. So at zero, it's three, three, um, minus one's three, four, 
minus two is three, five, minus three is three, six, so on and so forth. And that equals out to be the same. So if my Urshifu acts at a certain thing, you know what, let's make this easy. I have Alk here, let's do Qian Pao. Qian Pao is 205 speed. I got lowered by 75%, Point or times 0.75. That's 153 minus 205. I dropped to 51 speed. The only way that I can outspeed that guy was to have Tailwind up, but even then, I don't think I would have been able to do it. So let's do that. Let's do 205 times two, that's Tailwind, uh, times 0.75, which is 307, minus 410. It would have been 102. I would have been able just to barely, barely outspeed anything on that side of the field. But to drop to 50, to 50, I got hit with the pledges, guys. That's rough. God, that's rough. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and Pokefans alike, is going to be the end of today's video. Unfortunately, we went um, two and four, which is not ideal, especially after we just made the changes that we did. However, with the last match, we were not expecting not only an Ice Rider, but the pledges to be on top of that. Who needs Trick Room when you can literally just sacrifice your first opening pair to bring up the Swamp Terrain, which drops everyone by 75% speed? That's rough. I don't know if you, if you can avoid it while flying because you're technically not touching the ground. I don't know if it's just like a terrain effect that you just can't get over. It's not even something that affects your opponent's side of the field. He's just like, yep, whatever. Uh, you have to deal with that. And if you somehow knocked out Grovile, that was something else completely. It resembled like kind of like a meme build that you would find on Showdown that for some reason worked on a team that's vgc viable and that's more of like a diss on me because i wasn't able to see right through it and i couldn't stop it like i understand endeavor endeavor is really really good i had it on whimsicott when it worked it was great when it didn't it wasn't great i never really clicked it uh, but I, uh, yeah yeah 75 percent that's rough and I don't think there's any way that I could have countered that besides Tailwind. And there was no way for me to even see that because I was so worried about Trick Room being activated by Ice Rider and the double kick and the Terra Ice to proc the weakness policy. Like, did you really need to do that? I mean, it's not a bad strat if you can get around it, but it Obviously, I wasn't going to, and I thought I could. I also am very confused that they were able to one-shot Kyogre. I don't even know if that would one-shot completely. How do you? How, how would you do that in the in the calcs? I don't even see a, a way to do that. It's not listed. Like that's such that's a tech that no one really uses. You can't even bring it up. Like that's so weird. I can't even see it. So how do you how do you think of something like that? Also, if it's water and grass, which one hits first? Is it water that hits first or grass hits first or is it both? I don't know. So that was interesting. Anyway, so I, I don't want to sound like super salty. It was a, it was weird. It was a strange strat. Don't get me wrong, but it's, I, I don't know how you prepare for that. Honestly, I don't. I have have no idea how you're supposed to, to guard against something like that. It's not on any of the calcs. It's not on Picolytics. It's not on uh, Poke Sports. I don't even see it on Showdown. Like it's it's not anywhere. So I don't I don't know. I have no idea where I could even look to even try to counter that. But that's okay. It was a really dis it was really interesting. Don't get me wrong. It was super interesting. I just don't know how I'm supposed to counter something that isn't put on there. Maybe I can use that for like next week's podcast. We have a segment that, that's called Grind My Clangs now. It's supposed to be like a, a spinoff for like Grind My Gears from like Family Guy. Um, but that's something that I could bring up. Like, how do you how do you count for those? I don't even I don't even see it. No idea. Anyway, so uh, I'm done ranting. So it was it was fun. That was interesting. And I'm hoping you guys don't see it on your end because that was horrendous <laughs> but anyways i'm hoping you guys enjoyed the show and the video nonetheless if you guys want to have uh, want to go ahead and leave a like just to kind of uh smooth things over for me losing to the pledges that would be fantastic like the video if you like it just like it if you didn't leave a comment down below as i do reply to any and all comments left behind uh if you're a brand new viewer hi my name is matt i'm a vgc player that is learning and hoping to teach you guys play with you are beginners like I have been. I've been playing uh, since season four and hitting Master Ball tier in each single one. So you have plenty of videos to watch. That's going to be in the end card in the playlist. I've got like over 260 videos that you guys can uh, uh, browse and see how my progress all the way up to this point. 
I am not an expert by any means, and I'm still continuously learning, but there is some stuff that I do know because it happens on the screen. Win or loss, it's right here in front of you. I either do well or I suck really, really bad. <laughs> but that's the whole point of the series, and it'll continue to do that until I'm done with Pokemon. So I hope you enjoy the ride as uh, as long as it, as it goes on. So there's that. Uh, if you are a returning viewer, though, why not hit the subscribe button? It does help out the channel quite a bit and it will also notify you when I upload next time. I do plan on uploading every single day this month so unless there's meetings that pop up or I have to go in for overtime which then I can't record Friday nights so I, I work swing shift so I do all my recordings at night. If I can't do it in time to be able to release it for you guys the next day I'll let you guys know in the community tab or on discord and or um, Twitter so follow all that. If you guys want to join the discord it's currently in the description you can click on that and it's free to join there's no paywall I would much rather just have you guys just come in and uh, share your knowledge of the game or if you guys want to have a place like learn then please come right on in we have really good discussions about uh, Pokemon teams what could be in the meta or if you guys just want to come in and talk absolutely why not just come in and you know say hi I don't, I don't I'm not gonna bite so there's that um so that's it. That's all that I really have, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I want to thank you guys for watching one more time and happy Monday. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, take care and I'll see you then. Peace. <laughs>